So, just finished up the auction weekend this week. So, three auctions all up in total, guys. Let's break them down. First one this morning was passed in. Um, had two active bidders for that one and fell short of the vendor's expectation. Uh, negotiations still unsure at this stage whether or not we're selling. Uh, the owners did mention, though, that if they didn't get their price, that they'd simply just redevelop the block. So no issues, issues holding on to it, um, but we are not that far from achieving a successful outcome. So um, fingers crossed that we can reach a deal there. Otherwise, seems like either party's happy to walk away. Second auction of the day was sold prior on the 30th of April. So congratulations to both the buyers and sellers and also my clients out at Reliance Real Estate. And the last auction of the day, this is probably the most interesting story and that is, uh, it was postponed. Now uh, the auction was postponed. We had only five inspections throughout the whole entire campaign. And essentially, um, you know, I had to call up the vendors and, and let them know that it wasn't really worth going through the auction process if we only had five inspections and it, we're better off postponing it and rerunning the campaign. Now, the story behind the five inspections is that the auction, uh, the property was tenanted, which means that, uh, you know, throughout the, the campaign, there was limited access. Um, the, the tenants also had large dogs as well so even the people that did show up weren't comfortable inspecting the home so my recommendation to them was to vacate the property stage it up make it look nice have more open homes for inspections uh, more comfortable viewing experience as well so that you can generate enough interest and competition on auction day so I think it works out best for all parties that that's the case. I think it's the fairest way of um, resolve. It's the fairest way of dealing with that because that way the uh, the sellers don't have to pay two lots of auction fees. I could have called the auction anyways, um, but it just doesn't make sense for me to do so. We're just wasting everybody's time here. So. That's my auction wrap for this week. If you enjoy this kind of content, give it a thumbs up. Uh, comment down as well. Anything else that you want to know throughout my uh, auction weekends and what I'm seeing during the auctions, whether it's markets or interesting stories behind the campaign, uh, let me know and I'll do my best to get to it. Thanks. See you at the next one.